Here we're being asked which choice logically completes the text. So this is one of our questions that really just means get the main idea. If you're asked for the underlying sentence, if you're asked for the overall structure, or to complete the text, really you just need the main idea. So let's go ahead and start reading generally. An analysis of coins minted in this location in these centuries BC reveals a change in their composition over time. While a coin from 450 contains 98% silver, 1% copper, a coin from this later time contains less silver and more copper, giving it a relatively yellowish appearance that traders would have noticed. Because coins with a silver content below 80% were widely considered unsuitable for trade, they speculate that a crisis in confidence in the currency occurred around that time, which was likely relieved despite persistent oppressive financial obligations as a result of the successor's decision to do what? So we're seeing here that originally the coins had a lot of silver and later on they had less silver and more copper, but that was creating a yellowish appearance traders were noticing and there was a crisis in confidence in the currency. And finally, that crisis was relieved when a certain decision was made. So this is definitely not one of my favorite questions because I think I might have originally wanted to pick A on this one, but we'll get into the differences. So A says, the decision would have been to proclaim that the percent of silver suitable for trade would be raised to a threshold higher than 80%. Now, that answer did honestly, in all honesty, seem like a good one to me, because if coins with less than 80% were unsuitable, then to restore the confidence, someone might declare, let's make them suitable by raising the percent above 80%. But the reason given by College Board for why this is not the right answer is because the country had persistent, oppressive financial obligations. In other words, they were broke. They were having financial trouble. So they couldn't just simply add more of the silver, which was the really expensive thing. So to say, okay, we're going to just raise it to a threshold higher than 80%, I guess that's the idea of spending money you don't have because it's like, oh yeah, let's fill it with the most valuable thing. And if they were having these financial obligations, that may not have been possible. And that's the reason why A is not right. Looking at B, the decision was to keep the amount of silver consistent with that in the coins minted in 367 BC, but decrease their weight. Well, that's going to end up being the answer, by the way. And the reason why is because in 367, there was a certain amount of silver. And if that silver is kept the same, but the weight is decreased, that basically means we're getting rid of this extra copper that's in there. So that would be a way to kind of raise the silver proportion without necessarily coming up with more money, more silver that they didn't have because of those financial obligations. And admittedly, I don't love this, but that's the answer. Looking at C, the decision was to begin minting heavier coins with a proportion of silver to copper similar to 367 BC. Well, 367 BC is where there was this uh, crisis. There was this crisis in confidence. So if the proportion is going to be similar, that's not going to fix the problem at all. So we can easily get rid of C. And looking at D, the decision to fund the mining of copper deposits that were not available. Well, the problem was that the proportion of silver was too low. So adding copper was not going to help anything. So when the dust settles on this question, the answer here is B.